Hey everybody, it's Brian and I'm back again with another video. Thanks for joining us on Harley Scoots and Cowboy Boots channel. This morning, it's about 27 degrees. Um, the bike's in the shop still. So Tracy and I, we're going to use our time wisely and uh, go do some toy hauler shopping. We uh, want to be able to take the dogs with us on some longer trips and be able to take off when we want to. So I think we're going to uh, head off Cape and um, go looking around a little bit. She's already in the truck waiting for me, so let's go. Here we are. We're on. Uh, we're in the car wash. <clears throat> we're on our way to go look at toy haulers. We just. Uh, where'd we just leave? Our favorite breakfast place. Morning Glory Cafe. My favorite breakfast place. So we're gonna run through the car wash and we're gonna head out. No one wants to go look at a toy hauler on a dirty truck. So what are we looking for in a toy hauler? So some of the options that we want or that would be ideal for us would be um, definitely a king size bed. Yeah, king size bed for sure. Um, for the dogs, mostly. <laughs> size what are we thinking you know I'm thinking 29 30 feet but that's why we're going to look because we need to make sure that that's going to be big enough for the dogs yeah yeah the dogs are one of the main reasons why we're going to look at toy haulers so yep. I think we definitely the kids are gone so now what we have to worry about are the dogs <laughs> yeah right so definitely, uh, probably the 30 foot range, something maybe around 10,000 pounds, and uh, king size bed, uh, generator. Generator, maybe. And, um, we, you know, you want a separate area for the motorcycle. Like we don't right. want the motorcycle parked in the middle in of the living room. room. Right. We want a separate garage space. Yeah, because we saw a lot of toy haulers online, and um, a lot of them, you know, the the bike ends up right in your living room, which isn't ideal for us. When we're not there, you know, we want, if the bike is in there, we want some room for the dogs to be able to roam around. And uh, if it gets nasty out, we want to be able to put the bike in the trailer and not, and not have to uh, move around it while we're in there. So... Some other options that we've seen that we really liked, you know, don't necessarily have to have it, but we liked the fueling station. The fueling station was nice. Um, some of them have power washers built right into yeah. them. Um, you know, those are nice. And I, I wouldn't mind a nice kitchen, you know, in the because uh, we're going to be, you know, traveling cross country and doing some big trips. You know, it's going to yeah. be home for a while. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. All right. We'll see you guys in a bit. So we just got over here. We're at Camp Is In in, in Taunton, Mass. Raynham? Raynham or Taunton? Raynham. Doesn't matter. So that's the trailer we're looking at right there. So let's go check it out. All right. This is the one we came to look at. Momentum 29G. Come on in. Got some good space. I like it. Those are recliners too. Yeah. Does that TV? The teeth does the TV swing? It must, right? Oh yeah, it's on an arm. So you can swing it in, swing it out. Check out the bedroom. It's a queen size bed. I like that. I wish it was a king. You could you could definitely you know, fit a king in here if that was a little bigger. Yeah. It's not too bad. You can go into the bathroom from the bedroom or from the main area. Only nice. a, a headroom, yeah. I'm just about six feet. A so skylight up that. Yeah.
All right, well, we're in uh, we're in the 29G. We, this is the one we came to look at. Um, what do you think, babe? I like it. A couple yeah, things nice. I don't love. This um, is the garage area, by the way, that I'm in right now. So you get the that bed right there behind me that goes up to the ceiling, and then those um, those the um, couch right there actually folds up into two benches. And they can either go up to the ceiling like it is, or it can fold up against the wall. It's pretty big, pretty big in here. Plenty of room for the bike. It's got AC. It's got um, two AC units. One for the main part, and then one for the bedroom area. So it's pretty nice. Um, we will go in. We'll get a best price from them, and I think we got we have a couple more to go look at. So we'll check it out. I don't know. Do we see the Do we see the bedroom in here? It's the bedroom, queen size bed. Not bad. Got a spot for a TV. Got a spot for a TV right up there in the bathroom. Tracy's biggest problem is the bed is a queen bed, and it has a bump out on the front that goes under the awning. What do you think of the size of the fridge? A little small, huh? Is that too small for all your much drinks? Keto food in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bar. There's plenty of room for plenty of room in the bar. Patron. Plenty of room for Patron. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah, bar is nice. I wish it was plugged into power. It's not plugged into power, so we can't really see. It has like uh, motion sense lighting and stuff like that, so you can walk through lights on. It's got um, Rockford Fosgate stereo subwoofer up there. See that? Pretty cool. You got the Fosgate speakers in the ceiling. So. All right. Well, I think we're done in this one. And we'll go get the, um, we'll go get, you know, see what their best price is. And I think we have a couple more to go look at. So we will, uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye. So what did you think of the momentum? I liked it. I liked it. Um, I think it has everything we need. A um, couple things, only two things that I really don't love about it. Queen size bed. Yeah. Um, and I don't like the bump out in the very front, like under the awning, because I feel like that takes up a lot of like usable space. It should be like on the other side on of the, the camper. On the other side yeah. or off to the side or something like that. Um, are they deal breakers? Not necessarily. It did have some good features. It oh. has a generator, which is nice. Which Love the party patio. Party patio. And, you know, that wasn't even open. So I feel like if that was open, it would seem a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, and I also, it wasn't plugged into power. Yeah. So, so we didn't really get to see the lights, the LED. It has LED lights all over it. Mm. We didn't get to see that. And um, we never opened up the tailgate ramp. So we didn't get to see that part either. Um yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was it was very nice. It was it had a lot of windows. It was bright. Um, yeah, I don't know. The garage, the garage part was the best part. Had a great garage. Yeah. All right, so we're uh, we're at the next place. We're gonna go check out some more over here at Camping World in Berkeley. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, so we're over here at uh, Campus World or Camping World. And we just looked at the fuel. What was that? The fuel. Yeah, right there. And it was nice, right? You liked that? I really liked it. Tracy liked the fuel plan and the fuel. Had a couple of drawbacks as far as I'm concerned. It had a couple of positives with her. Uh, didn't have a separate garage area, which I really liked in the other one. Um, but to me, it made it so much more wide open and bright. Like it made it feel much bigger not having the separate garage but that's something he really wants and the one the the other thing is they said because it's cold out today they couldn't operate the slider and um and open up the slide so we didn't really get a full the full effect of it with it open it was a really big slide too so yeah. um tons of know. storage yeah king size bed <clears throat> yeah king size bed that was good had a generator it had the party patio, but no awning on the back. Mm. So that was the one thing. Um, no bump out on the front. 
So that was something that you liked, right? Yeah, I love that. But you know, we came thinking we wanted a separate garage. Brian wants a separate garage so he can keep his bike in the garage um, if he wants to. Yeah. Um, so this one, your bike actually like goes up into your camper. So if we're traveling cross country and we're stopping someplace for the night, he'd have to take his bike out every single time we stopped. Cause you know, the dogs need room, we need room. Um, that's definitely a drawback, but by not having a separate garage, it's way brighter. And living space is bigger. It, living space is much bigger. Feels much more open and bigger. It, it had like a kitchen island. It was a nice hallway leading down to the bedroom. Um, it was nice. Nice. I liked it. I loved it. But we got a text while we were in there from the salesman at the other place. And uh, I think they run, They really want a wheel and deal. So I don't know. Oh, I didn't know that. If they, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe they'll, uh, they'll make us an offer we can't refuse. I don't know, let's let's find out. We'll see you in a bit. So now we're over in Lakeville. We're at a place called Russo's RV. It's kind of a smaller place. I don't know uh, I don't know what they're gonna have for toy haulers, but I'm gonna go in and find out. See you in a bit. So now we're on our way home. How do we make out? Um, we made out pretty good. We saw a few really nice um, toy hauler travel trailers. I don't really think we found the right one for us yet. Um, the ones that we did see, some had, you know, their pros, some had their cons. Um, just haven't found the right one yet. Yeah. And we don't have any real video from the uh, the the other trailers. We have the the first one, but the uh, the second, third one were at the same place. We had the same salesman, and he was uh, kind of douchey. Yeah. He was up our ass, so we really couldn't take any good video. But um, we did, we did like that trailer, you know. Yeah, I love. I I really liked that one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there were pros and cons to both of them, and um, I think right now the search continues. So, stay tuned. <laughs>